Amen. Philippians chapter 1, verse 9, Paul says, In this I pray, you know, Paul prayed. The reason why Paul made it, you know why? Because Paul prayed. It's not that hard, right? You know, you want somebody, you want to know a man that had something to be anxious about. His name was Paul the Apostle, right? He had the burden of the churches on his back. He had the world, the flesh, and the devil. If you think you've been uh, attacked by Satan, just pretend you were Paul, man. You know, this guy, well, in the morning, they'd love him. In the evening, they'd murder him, you know, and that was just his life. He just learned that. But he prayed, this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. You know, and I don't know about you. I don't know if, you know, if you heed the words of Paul in 1 Corinthians 12, 13, and 14, but Paul told us there, you know, he tells us to, to, to desire spiritual gifts, right? He tells us we should desire them. You know, I don't know about you, but I'd highly recommend you pray for spiritual gifts, pray for prophecy and discerning of spirit. I pray for discerning of spirits every day, right? You know, pray for gifts of miracles, gifts of healings. But there in that section, 1 Corinthians 12, 13, and 14, it's like the, I call it the hamburger of the Bible, right? You got the spiritual gift on one side, the spiritual gift on the other, and right in the middle, Paul tells us what the most important of all the spiritual gifts is. And what is it? Do you guys know? It's love, right? And that's what Paul's basically telling them here. Pray for the gift of love, right? You know, if you're, I don't know about you, but I know for me, if you're looking on what's happening in this world, the hearts of men are growing cold. And that doesn't just mean for the, the heathen, for the atheist or the agnostic. We're talking for the, the child of God, for God's people. Our hearts are growing cold. I, I'm watching it happen. You're, either your heart is getting hot and burning and you're throwing the logs on the fire and keeping it hot for Jesus, or you're going to just be part of the frozen chosen, you know? You're still going to go to heaven. God's with you, but you're going to be the frozen chosen. You're going to be just frozen in time, not having the strength you need to, to do it. And the beautiful thing is, you know, is a, it's just a devotion, right? I can't do the teaching. But, uh, you know, I'm listening, to, I'm reading this book about the American Revolution and the guy that, the guy that they used to play, you know, that Mel Gibson from the movie The Patriot, um, this guy in real life was like, he was so small. He's like four foot five or something like this. He was from South Carolina. The British took his land and they just couldn't stop this guy, man. He was just murdering them. And, you know, it's, it's really true in this day. It's important we realize this, you know, as, as regardless of how much the enemy attacks, you know, our physical stature, our financial, you know, portfolio, the size of our house, our position in life, you know, our job, what the world thinks about us, I'll tell you, it is really irrelevant in, <laughs> in this moment. You either, what is it, Robert Murray McShane says, he says, you know, what you are on your knees, that's what you are. Nothing more, nothing less. That's it. And it's really true. You know, you either have spiritual capacity or, man, the enemy is going to just steamroll you, you know. And I just encourage you with that. And that's what Paul's saying here. You know, that your love may abound still more and more knowledge and all discernment that you may approve the things that are excellent. So Paul said that you'll have discernment, Philippian church, that you'll be able to prove the things that are good, right? It's very hard. As Isaiah's prophecy, we're, we're literally watching it be fulfilled before our eyes, right? What is wrong in the what is wrong in God's sight right now in the world's sight is being called what? It's right, it's righteousness, right? Can you guys say righteousness? I'm gonna wake you guys up this morning. You're gonna get it, right? It's right, it's, it is. I mean, it's not right. It's righteousness. Like, you're going to be a good person and be godly if you agree with what the Bible says is wrong. But Paul says that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense to the day of Christ, right? Being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. So, Ask the Lord today for the gift of love, right? And let's approve the things that are excellent. Let's approve those things. And, and let's ask the Lord to, to give us discernment, right? To give us discernment in these things. And uh, the Lord, he's with us. He's with you guys. If you could wake up this early on a day you turn the clocks forward, you're definitely Christian. So <laughs> praise the Lord for that, right? Amen? Amen. 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 Let's pray. I'm going to pray for us as it's like, Father, we thank you for this morning. God, we just ask you for a fresh filling of your spirit, Lord. Your word says flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. 
So God, we want to be vessels of honor. We want to be filled with your spirit. Lord, we do come to you just as we are. We know that uh, our walk with you and our relationship with you begins again and again, Lord, day by day, Lord, all over again. And our dependency on you, Lord, once again begins this morning. God, we ask, have your way in us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, let's.